Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Welcome. We are going to do a St. Patty's Day tangle today. And the tangle is called Lucky. And you can find it on tanglepatterns.com. And it's by CZT, Adele, Brunel. So thank you, Adele, for this beautiful tangle that you have come up with. So the first thing we're going to do is start with our pencil. And I'm going to start in the traditional fashion with four corner dots. And I'm gonna connect these dots. And this is going to be a grid tangle. I'm going to start from the top left and make a diagonal line down to the bottom right. And I'm going to divide to the right and to the left of my space of that line into the somewhat equal spaces. Just do your best. So I've added a three additional lines. I'm going to rotate this and I'm going to do it on the other side. If you have a little piece like that, that's perfectly fine. Then you can do the same thing in the opposite direction. And just do your best. If your lines are a little wobbly, it's okay. It'll all work out in the end. Okay, so I have my grid, and next you're going to choose a micron pen that you would like to use. You could use greens for St. Patrick's Day if you'd like. Um, micron Secura makes a few different shades of green, so feel free to do that. I'm going to draw in a micron 01 in black, just because I know most of you have that. And I'm gonna find the four sections that are right in the center to begin. And I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to redefine my pencil line, but curve when I get to the left corner, curve when I get to the top, curve when I get to the right, and bring it back down. And that's gonna be a top petal of a shamrock. I'm going to restate this line, curve at the top, curve at the right, and the bottom, but I'm gonna meet in the center. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. So I'm always going to be curving at three sections. So those are gonna be three petals. From here, I'm going to go in, I'm going to make a stem. So I'll have a little bit of a curved line. And then I'm gonna close it off with the remainder of that box and make a V. And I'm going to continue this throughout my tile. So I like to work in a diagonal. All of my petals are going to be touching one another. Some might go off the border. So I'm just stopping when I hit the border. And again, three corners will always have a curve and then the three petals will meet in the middle. So I'm going to continue going up. After I have it going in one direction, I find it easiest to go in the other direction now. And you might have more boxes than me, and that is fine. I'm doing this on the larger size. Uh, I like to tangle large quite often, and I think it's easier to see how this looks and how to share it with you, making it a little bit larger. 
So now I'm going to continue going in this direction. I've gone in and I've completed all my edges. And if something goes a little bit off, don't stress over it. It will all work out in the end. Next, I'm going to go in and on each stem, I am going to add an aura. All my auras are in place. And now I'm going to add a spiral in the center of each of my petals. I'm going to reinforce this line and come around and begin my spiral like so. I'll rotate my tile, redefine the line that is there, come around with the spiral, and I'll do the same thing on the third one. I'm going to continue this on all my other sections. So I have all my spirals in, they are like little print tops, and I'm going to get ready for my shading next. I want to take my pencil now, and in the negative space, which is the background areas, I'm going to add some graphite. So I'm going around the stem and the petals or leaf shapes. And I'm gonna gently take my tortillon and bring it out towards the center, leaving white still showing in the center. We don't want this to get all gray. If it doesn't spread out enough, then go back in, add a little pencil. You shouldn't have to be scrubbing your paper. It should be a nice, gentle touch. So go ahead and do that in all the background pieces. Next, I'm going to go in and shade the stems. And remember, you could do other things. You could use colored Prismacolors, you could use markers, you could do a lot of really fun things with this tangle. So I'm gonna add a little shadow on the top part and the bottom of the stem. I'm going to take my Tortillon and pull it towards the center, but I wanna make sure that I leave white in the center as well. So just like so. So go in and do all of your stems. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of graphite to the inner circle. So depending on how much space you have, maybe you just wanna do it in the thick part. Maybe you wanna have it coming around a little bit more. So whatever your tile is calling for, this is your journey, remember. Uh, so add where you feel your tile needs it. So I'm going to just add it right along here. I'm going to go in to each one of these spirals. So there you have it. All the shading's done. Might look neat to take a little gold jelly roll and put a little dot in the center or maybe at the ends of the spirals. So many different options you have here. Can't wait to see yours. Please tag me in your posted tiles. I'm going to add my chop there. I'm going to sign the back. And today is St. Patrick's Day. And you can tag me at Danny Girl Art or, or end, Danny Girl Art CZT 36. Hope you had fun.